It's me, Mila, Mama Mila, and you're back in my kitchen, in our home, and we are going to make a incredibly delicious side dish today, a roasted broccoli Caesar salad. Um, I love Caesar salad, like I'm a Caesar salad girl, love making it at the restaurant. In fact, it was like super popular. Um, and I also love broccoli, like my kids love broccoli, and so we are going to make a roasted broccoli Caesar salad side dish. That's a freaking mouthful. I'm super excited to do this. And you know what? This is just one of those side dishes that is really impressive, but super easy to do. So let's talk about our ingredients first. So we have chopped fresh broccoli. I have olive oil. Worch Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know what I'm talking about. Smoked paprika, we have a little bit of gray poupon, salt, pep, eggs. We have anchovy fillets, trust me. Lemon, pine nuts, garlic, and parm. And it's all gonna come together amazingly delicious. First things first, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400 degrees on a parchment sheet in a baking pan. This is a half pan. I'm going to put olive oil and then I'm gonna put Parmesan cheese down. If you're at home, this might be a full pan. Now over 16 ounces of broccoli, I'm going to put about a half a cup of olive oil. Then I'm gonna do salt and pepper to taste. I obviously love black pepper. And then we're just gonna toss it all together. All right, now we're gonna take our broccoli and we're gonna nestle each little florette down into that Parmesan and olive oil. When I put this on the pan, I like to make sure that each piece is pushed down into that Parmesan so it sticks really well. Trust me, it's gonna make an incredible crust. Um, we're gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in our pan. We're gonna put our pan on low. And we're going to add in about a half a cup of pine nuts. This is optional, but I promise you the crunch is delish. To those pine nuts, we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Pinch of salt and some homegrown oregano. Make sure that you're keeping your nuts moving so they don't scorch. Now you know what they say about toasting your nuts. When you can smell them, you know they're ready. Let's make the dressing. We're going to do the zest of one lemon, and then we're gonna juice the lemon. We're gonna add in two cloves of garlic. This is in a paste, makes it a lot easier. Now listen, you gotta trust me about the anchovies. We're gonna add in two anchovy fillets, a teaspoon of Worcestershire, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'd say this is about a teaspoon. And now we're gonna add in our egg yolks. I'm struggling, friends. Did not wanna separate. Maybe but we did our best. I'm using my spatula to chop up these anchovies just a little bit. They weren't melting as good as I like, but that's okay. Now let's stir it all up and add the olive oil. Okay, here comes the fun part. We are going to whisk, 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 whisk. I'm gonna add in our Parmesan. This is about a quarter of a cup and lots of fresh cracked pet. Look at this broccoli. Look at this like beautiful crust that we have there. Is this like Parmesan brittle? Oh my God, I could just eat it like this. Look how pretty. Okay, we're gonna break up all this broccoli and this Parmesan brittle that has happened magically. And we're gonna throw it in the bowl and we're gonna toss it all together. Now let's plate it. All right, here we go. We're gonna plate up this beautiful broccoli. I'm 
I'm gonna put some lemon zest, and I'm gonna put some more Parmesan, are we surprised? And we can't forget about our nuts. Let's sprinkle them right on top. Look at how beautiful this is. Have you ever seen broccoli look this delicious? I think not. Let's take a bite. I'm looking for the best freaking piece that is crunchalicious, man. Yeah. Honest to God, you could just put like a piece of grilled chicken with this and it's a whole flipping meal. Mmm, more shrimp. This is delicious. It's not fishy at all. You can't even taste it, but it's bright, it's crispy, it's crunchy, it's salty. It's literally probably the best broccoli of your life besides tempura broccoli, because you know deep fried's always good. But this is amazing. This is a good side dish if you want to impress people, or you know, if you want to make sure your spouse knows you still got it. I love it. It's delish. Thank you so much for coming. Another episode of At Home With Me, Mama Mila. Don't forget, I love to see you at the restaurant. I love to feed you. I love it when you're here with me. Most of all, I just love you. Okay? Tanti bachi.